I bought three of Amazon's top rated polarized sunglasses and today I'm gonna unbox them, go over the features and benefits of each one and see if any of them are worth keeping. So my wife and I just got back from a wonderful trip to the Gulf Coast of Florida, came back with a lot of great memories, but I did not come back with my sunglasses. So I thought this would be a great opportunity for me to go on Amazon and purchase three of the most highly rated pairs of sunglasses I could find and compare them right here on the channel for you. So I've got a pair here from Zenotic. I've got a pair here from Kaliata, uh, and I've got a pair here from Actel eyewear. We're going to open these things up, see which one is the best and why. I'll give you my initial impressions and I'll start off by saying that all three of these pairs of sunglasses were under $50. I think most of them were around $30 to $40 in fact. So um, we're just going to go in a random order blah, 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 and we're just going to start over here with the Zenitic glasses. So inside we've got cleaning cloth. Cleaning cloth is always nice to have. We'll open up the plastic here. Carrying case, Zenitic carrying case. Now I'll start off by saying this was the pair of glasses I had the highest hopes for because of the reviews. And I think the style of the glasses uh, are very nice. I, I like the idea. So right off the bat, I can tell you that I like the, I like the, the curvature of these frames. Um, they've got a really nice kind of look and feel. And these are ones that on the Amazon page, they showed that you could like bend this this arm here and that actually pretty nice it snaps pretty quickly out i love that let's try the fit test and they're actually quite comfortable i don't know how they look you tell me how they look down in the comments below but they feel quite comfortable and for me i need a dark shade i can't have any kind of gradient or see-through lens so this feels pretty dark in front of my studio lenses um the outside of the the ear bands is textured um it's just got the Zenitic logo in there and yeah i mean i gotta say first impressions i'm very impressed with these i think the style looks really nice they're really comfortable they're lightweight there's no nose piece it's just plastic but i think that could work for me they fit tight behind the ear and just in general they're, they're pretty darn comfortable so uh first impressions on Zenitic are very good i think that this this is a really nice pair of glasses this is what i really love they snap together really quickly like that really firmly uh, down because if you're throwing these things let's say in a pocket you want them to stay there and for 30 bucks not too bad i'm going to save all of my final thoughts until i've seen all three pairs of glasses but this sets a good tone for the rest of the options here okay let's just go next caliata now i believe this is the brand yes this is the brand that unbeknownst to me when i ordered i thought there were color options this actually comes with three different pairs of glasses, which had I known that from the beginning, I might not have ordered because truth be told, when something comes in a bundle of three, it, it doesn't always scream quality. And I'm not looking for quantity here. I'm looking for quality. Uh, again, it comes with a nice case for each one of the glasses. I think I'll just pull out one to start. Let me set these other two. Each pair of glasses has its own little carrying case along with it. But this is the black i chose kind of the same style for each one it's a black frame this has a colored lens option and again it's textured on the outside kind of like the Zenitic glasses and honestly looks very similar it's a very similar look it's textured on the outside the earpieces not quite as flexible i wouldn't do that Let's check out how firm they snap down that's great first impression on the wear Wow, these are not uh, not my favorite color of lens. That kind of gives you a, a a different hue with this color lens. I like black lenses, but I do have a black lens pair in there that I could choose from, should I so decide. And for this price, pretty much the same price as the Zenitic. If if it's different, then it's negligible. There we go. The, I would get three pairs of glasses, and I got to say that's that's an attractive offer to me. We've got the black lenses here. Let's see what our third option was. Ta da da. We have more of a, a blue. Okay. Red, black, and blue. And I do feel like these are a little smaller than the Zenotic, which um, may or may not be a good thing based on 
the size of your head, the size of your face. Let me, let me just kind of compare these. Yeah, for sure. Um, you see these side by side. This is the Zenitic, the first pair, and this is the uh, Caliata. They're a little bit smaller side by side. So for me, I prefer a little more coverage when I'm wearing a pair of sunglasses. So if you have a smaller head, these might actually be better, but truth be told, I don't see a whole lot of difference in the build quality, the, you know, the, the actual function. Um, they're, they, they're very lightweight. They have decent styling. They, they actually look really nice, all three pairs. And if you're looking for colored frames and lenses, this might be an option. Now, the other brands had those options. I obviously just purchased black on black because that's my preference, but this came with three different options. So this is Caliati. Caliata, however you say that, um, three packs of polarized glasses. And, and I gotta say, I do like the mechanism in all of these. It's very similar. It's just a simple piece of metal. Doesn't, it's not a spring that has a screw that could be, I guess there are little screws on top, but it uh, doesn't look like it's gonna wear out. And I like that it snaps really firmly in place. The texture on the outside makes it easy to grab and go. So again, Caliati glasses, three pack polarized glasses together here. So let's move on to the next pair. Now I'm 100% certain I am saying this brand's name wrong. It's ATTCL, At Attical Eyewear. This is a very heavy box. First imp oh, look at this. Look at this. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? Now, if we're judging it on the case, the other two came with I don't know, a microfiber pouch that it's not going to protect your glasses from being destroyed. Um, maybe just doubles as a, as a lens wiper. This is hard shell. This is going to protect your glasses from being destroyed. If you set them in, uh, set on them, or in, in the case of, uh, what I normally do, throw them in a backpack. This is an incredible case. I got to say at this price point, that's ridiculous. It's got the nice little Actel logo on there great case. So definitely the best case we've seen so far. And, oh, oh, it's got a divider in the middle to keep these kind of sitting right in the middle. Looks like it has the same microfiber case as the others. Uh, some lens wipers, stuff like that. We're going to set this aside for a minute. It almost feels like this is on a different level of sunglasses. Yeah, this is definitely on a different level. So here's the difference. Okay. The other two glasses functionally very nice um seem like they'd be really durable they're made of more plastic material this this is metal this is 100 metal uh of some kind it it gives them a heavy feel though that could be a down it could be a downside for some of you out there the actual armbands they don't snap down really tight this is the kind that I think would, would loosen over time. And then you have what I would call like the floppy arm where they just flop. I personally hate that. But the materials that these are made out of are much different, much nicer. And the nose guards is a set of nice little gel inserts, whatever you call those. Uh, had those on my much more expensive Maui Gym glasses that I lost down in Florida. And this is a very comparable pair to those, the styling. I believe is also very similar to those. Yeah, just my main concern is the durability of these glasses because though they do feel of a higher quality, they also feel like they would be easily broken. If you sat on these, I think that they would just break into a million pieces. If you sat on these, the Zenitic or the Caliates, I don't think you would automatically break them, especially the arms. So I guess you have to ask yourself what kind of sunglass consumer are you? And maybe there's a reason, good reason, they gave you this super nice case with this pair of glasses. Maybe a little bit more fashionable. I would call them formal glasses, things you wouldn't wear. You wouldn't wear these on a run, but I wouldn't hesitate to wear either one of these other two pairs on a run. This is more like night out, looking good, going out. The lenses aren't quite as dark, but again, they're polarized. And I think it's a good presentation, but now I'm starting to see that these glasses, though they look very similar, they're very different than the other two. ATTCL eyewear, so Atkel eyewear, whatever you want to call it. 
You know, I would say for my own personal use, and I'm going to keep one pair of these sunglasses, I think I'm going to go with the Zenitic simply because they feel more durable, they feel a little bigger than the Caliati, and they're less dainty than the Atticles. Uh, I, I do love this glasses case, but I'm responsible enough to keep these in my car and in places where I think that they, they won't get broken. And like I said before, the flexibility of the arms uh, kind of give them the ability to withstand a little bit of destruction, a little bit of abuse. And that's why I'm going to pick these. But my question is, which pair are you choosing? I'm gonna put links to all three of these pairs of glasses down below. Take a look for yourself. Let me know which one intrigues you the most or what your favorite pair of glasses are. I'd love to hear that from you. And as always, thanks for watching the videos. Tune in for our next one. And until next time, my name has been Joel, and this is the Traveler Toolkit.